Oh, I knew this day was coming. What's up everyone, it's Joshua here. Welcome back to Emphasize Joshua. In a different location because it is in the middle of the night as I'm recording this and everyone is asleep except me. But I have a little rant for you guys. And in this rant, we're gonna talk about a movie that I used to like at first when I was way back in my middle school days. But now, how the tables has turned. And this is regarded as one of the worst movies ever and one of the worst movies based on a toy line. I think you may know where I'm going with this. <sighs> yup. Bratz the movie. This is supposedly a teen comedy musical drama. I use that in quotation marks because that's not what this is at all. This is based on the fashion dog, the same name by MGA Entertainment. This is directed by Sean McNamara. This is written by Susan Estella Jensen. Let that name sink in. This stars, of course, Natalia Ramos, Skylar Shea, Logan Browning, Janelle Parrish, Chelsea Stop Kane, Lainey Kazan, Annalise Vanderpool, Malise Chow, and John Voight. I knew eventually I was going to have to review this movie for this channel, but I was hoping with my recent rewatch, because I watched this a couple days ago. I'm not going to tell you where, because you don't need to know. Let's just get into the plot before I go into this. We follow Yasmin, Jade, Chloe and Sasha, and they have been best friends and they are fashion mavens. The well-dressed quartet faces unexpected challenges to a lifelong bond when each one enters Cary Nation High School. Yeah. I am done with this because I got more to say about this. They enter high school, okay? Where senior Meredith Bastard Dimley rules the school's social cliques with an iron fist. And so a year later in that, something happens. As peer pressure threatens to divide the girls apart, they must learn how to band together and to achieve true empowerment. If you're wondering why I'm echoing here, it's because my camera I'm using has no microphone little thing, so I can't plug my microphone into it and then use it on my shirt. So you'll have to deal with this for, for the review. But, that's the plot in a nutshell. When I was back in my little school days, I actually kind of liked this movie. My sister had this movie on DVD, one of my other sisters had it. We popped it in, I thought it was funny, I thought it was hilarious, I thought it was entertaining. And I was in that phase, of course, I watched some of the other Bryce movies and I thought some of the animated Bryce movies were fun. So I was hoping with this, this would be at least on rewatch, not as bad as everyone says it is, and unfortunately, the tables have turned because not only this is one of the worst m movies I have watched, this is one of the biggest cinematic disappointments I've ever seen. There is a reason why this movie has a 10% on Rotten Tomatoes and 3.8 on IMDb. There is a reason why this movie only made $26 million in its box office. There is a reason why no little girls has ever talked about this. This movie, and usually when I go into these type of movies, I'm like, I just lowered my expectations for how bad it was going to be. And sometimes I can say it's not as bad as say it is, but unfortunately with this, this is not the case. This fucking movie was not good. To, this was not a pleasant rewatch. This was anxiety and feel, feel to get through. This is a one hour and 42 minute long movie that 
feels like two hours and 13 minutes. There was a point in the movie where I thought it was about to be over and I still had 20 minutes to go. But it's not as bad to make my worst movies of all time list. But there are so many issues I have with this movie. Before I go into the ass whipping that I'm about to give, let's go into some things I like. Because let's focus on the positives. And the only positives is very few and far between. I will say some of the soundtrack is fine. You have people like Farmer J and then you have the song by Janelle Paris, Rainy Day, which I think that is a really beautiful song by her. I think it's beautiful. I think it's very sweet. Here. I will say most of this cast, overall, they're fine. Nothing against them. It's mainly the, the, the writing and the version that makes them look bad. You got people like John Voigt, Chelsea Estab, Chelsea from That's So Raven, Annalise Vanderpoel, Malise Zhao, who did an episode of iCarly as Miranda Cosgrove's clone, Sky Luce, Lainey Kazan, You Don't Mess With The Zohan, My Big Fat Greek Wedding. Fast overall, I, do, I think they do the best they can with what they're giving, especially Poor Natalia Ramos. I feel bad for this actress because she's she, we've never seen her anything else. Aside from House of Anubis on Nickelodeon in episode of that, which I thought she was actually really good in, I feel bad for this actress because to have your big first starring role at 14 years old and the turnout was very disappointing based on a toy line that she loved. Yeah. Try it. I'm sure eventually one day somebody is going to give her a good movie with good writing and direction. I hope so because I do think she deserves a second chance. There's also two scenes in this movie I think are actually funny. One is Meredith getting thrown into a swimming pool at her own party and the other is the food fight early on into the movie. That's it. <laughs> Now going into the negatives of this, there are worse movies I've seen in this, there are some of the worst films I reviewed in this, in the playlist, but whoever the hell came up with an idea to make a Bratz movie this bad should be shamed enough, but whoever let the, let the script be greenlit, let it be written, let it be edited, let it be produced, gave it a budget, handed it money, casted it, choreographed it, filmed it, promoted it, and still thought this was good enough to be released? What the hell were you thinking? Too late, it was literally the first thing I did. Ew! First off, let me just say it right now, this movie story is very superficial. There is not much of a story here. Yes, I guess you could say it's kind of an origin story here for the Brats, but it's not really that. This movie is a very superficial, uninspired, incompetent screenplay that has nothing going for it. What's the, what, what's the story, huh? It's just a bunch of, it's just usually what girls do, except there's a little problem here when it comes to this. Because the not only the direction by Sean McNamara is uninspired and lazy and superficial, but the script here by Susan Estell Jensen, who's done much better work with Boy Meets World and Lizzie McGuire and all that stuff. This movie sends a terrible message to its kids. Very, very terrible message to teeny boppers and girls. Basically, the message you're trying to say is moral values about being yourself, girl power, being empowered, and being expressive. You twist that around, and what do you get? You get a movie that is pretty much trying to say it's okay to be you know what. And I'm not going to say a sort that sort of word because I don't want to offend any of my female viewers or people who's watching because I'm not that type of person. But that's literally what the hell this movie is. One horrible idea after another. It's topping all off, technical aspects aside, the production quality here, some of it's fine, but 
a lot of this movie is so bad when it comes to the writing of this movie, when it comes to the characters in this movie, when it comes to even something as simple as supporting characters. The supporting characters barely get anything to do. The parents of these these three get these four get no no development whatsoever. The comedy in this movie is abysmal and it's not all that funny. You have jokes that are pretty much dated by 2023, because this was 16 years ago. They talk to each other on on webcam, which is a metaphor for phones and stuff like Zoom and Snapchat and Skype and other social media apps. But it's not even done in the most competent way. It's just very dull and the reason for them breaking up into clicks is fucking embarrassing. Like, there was a point in this movie I was like, no high school acts like this with a overpowered senior who thinks she can control everything. Not to mention, Meredith Bastard Dimly is a fucking ripoff and want to be a Sharpay Evans from the High School Musical Trilogy. How fucking dare you take that and you insult High School Musical like that. I'm sorry, that is the shit I'm not finna forgive. This movie is a fucking waste of everyone in this cast. Either someone has done better or something great or something decent. This is a waste of Janelle Parrish. She reminds me of an adult version of Nia Damison. With a mix, she's done better. Pretty Little Liars, to all the boys. Her recent thriller that she had, I thought was really compelling. I gotta review that to catch up in 2023, but... Even Natalia Ramos is freaking wasted. Half the movie, they, the, the script has her singing in Spanish and doing Spanish stuff. And I'm like, okay, I get what you're doing, but it feels very irritatingly obnoxious at points. And it's not Natalia Ramos' fault. It's not really her problem. It's this fucking directing and script that makes her the problem. And the movie itself is boring. This is an hour and 42 minute long, long movie. Again, it felt like two hours, 13 minutes. I felt like I was wasting my time watching one of the worst movie versions of a teen comedy I've ever seen in my life by watching this shit because it wasn't done with the handled care. If all of that wasn't bad enough to top this off, because I don't want to be here for 45 minutes talking about this. It doesn't deserve it. This has one of the worst songs automatically that made me turn against this on rewatch. Gratitude. What does that even mean? Not as a kid, I kind of liked this song a little bit because I liked the orchestra and the the drum and the beat of it. But now looking back at this, it's just like, do you even do you even know what message you're sending to girls? What the fuck? What fuck is a fucking exchange? You're telling girls that it's okay. You're telling them to be themselves, but you're also telling them to go out and be the worst thing possible. It's just for teenagers, especially teenage girls and females, y'all deserve better than this. Seriously, you don't. If you who like this movie, more power to you. I'm glad you finally joined me out of it. I just could not do it on this rewatch. And it took me until from 2011, 2011 or 2012 to now to see what this movie really is. This has to be literally one of the worst movies I've seen. There's a reason why the American Girl movies are better. There's a reason why the Barbie movie that just came out and I haven't seen it. And say whatever you want about it, at least it knows its audience and at least it tries. Jim and the Holograms, that's not a great movie, but it is a guilty pleasure compared to this. Some of the Transformers movies, mainly the first three and Bumblebee, 
and Rise of the Beasts are better than this. G.I. Joe, Rise of Cobra, and Retaliation, and even Snake Eyes is better than this. And I'm not even the biggest fan of Snake Eyes. Despite the ranges and quality of either of those movies, at least they tried. Hell, even recently, the 2022 Monster High movie I thought was better than this. At least I gave a shit more about the characters in that movie, including Dracula, Claudine Wolf, Frankie Stein, and Deuce Gorgon, and Cleo Denial. So overall, to sum up my thoughts on this, because this is not going to be a very lengthy rant, I hate this movie. It's a waste of female characters, it's a waste of an attempt to do a live action movie on a toy line that was basically fading out in 2007 and has not been seen ever since. Because Barbie and Monster High and everything else has dethroned y'all ass. It's way too long for a teen comedy musical that tries to send a message but really doesn't. The writing is bad, the direction is bad. The only thing I can say good about this is that some of the cast are trying. There is some decent production value in the cinematography and production design locations. And some of the soundtrack is fine. But this is one of the most biggest cinematic disappointments I've ever seen. It's not Mean Girls too bad, but you're better off watching something better for, for your girl, for, with the girls. Especially you parents who have teenage girls. You're better off showing them something else. Go show them the animated movies. Go show them Mario. Go show them Bratz. If it hadn't been for the few pros, this would easily be to get out of my face. But because I'm able to find some pros in her, I'm sparing it that but you're going getting to skip it because this is not how you represent girl power or being yourself or female empowerment no absolutely not well that's going to do it for the video that you just watched i will have my channel here so you would like to see anything here click the channel icon subscribe for more i will also leave a video and maybe a playlist here so in case you want to see what i'm about as always stay up assassinist join the up assassinist and you guys keep it cool